This is the T-Mobile Home Internet 5G Gateway, model G4SE. The sticker says CPO, which means certified pre-owned. It comes with a gateway and a windowsill bracket, quick start guide, and the power adapter. Here's the quick start guide. It's just web links and QR codes to the web links. Here's the gateway. It has a screen, some buttons, Intake air vents are at the bottom, exhaust air vents are at the top. These are SMA connectors to attach external antennas. USB-C port to send power to the unit. USB-C port to attach things like an external fan. SIM card slot. And Ethernet ports to connect it to like a computer or a router. Rubber feet at the bottom. The SIM card slot is just a rubber cap. You push the SIM card to insert it and release it. The antenna ports are female SMA connectors. This is the windowsill adapter. Here is the power adapter. If you came here to see how to put this all back in the box, let me show you. Lift this cardboard, insert the windowsill adapter underneath, insert the power adapter, flip the cardboard over both components to cover them, tuck it in, Lift this cardboard, insert the gateway, and you're ready. The weight of the gateway is about two and a half pounds. The screen has a plastic film. Let's connect the power adapter. It takes a few minutes to fully load. Here's the menu. This is where you go to change from the internal antennas to the external antennas. I disconnected the gateway to see if it has a battery and it does not. It just shuts off and here it is loading up once again. So if you get a power outage, expect to spend a few minutes for it to load back up. Unless you connect it to a UPS battery backup. This unit came with a SIM card in it. Let's see if I get internet from that SIM card. I have an ethernet cable connected to my laptop. The IP address of the gateway is 192.168.12.1. I can see the signal, but I really can't do anything from here. So it's useless going to the IP address of the gateway. So there's no internet on the SIM card. Here's the T-Life app. As you can see, I already have the silver Nokia gateway, also known as a trash can. I'm gonna take the SIM card from the Nokia gateway before I send it back and put my old SIM card into this new gateway. After a couple of minutes, there it is. We have internet. Here is a preliminary speed test. So now this unit shows up on the T-Life app. I'm gonna place it on the side of the house that is closest to where the nearest 5G tower is located. You can find your nearest 5G tower by going to cellmapper.net. Under provider, on the left side, scroll down to USA and select T-Mobile USA number 310-260. That's the one that worked for me. Under network, select 5G and you'll see all your nearby T-Mobile 5G towers. Once I have my location where I'm gonna put the gateway, I need to find out what position is the best. I faced it in all four main directions and I did a speed test at each one. For me, this was the best position with the back of the gateway facing the 5G tower. I've had this for a few days and I'm loving it. I get better speeds and a consistent signal compared to the silver Nokia trash can. Those speeds that you get when you first set it up are with the unit cold. Once it heats up, the heat impacts those internet speed numbers. So I'm going to look into adding a fan at the top to help draw the heat out and keep it cool. Alright, if this video was helpful, please give it a like and leave your thoughts in the comments.